Super Purple Bandidos, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Omega Ruby version. I'm Purple Rodri. Last time we ran around and took on some legendary Pokemon. In today's episode, we're actually going to continue legendary hunting. And as you guys can see here on our team, I actually have two Pokemon, a Relicanth and a Waylord added, because we're going to need them in order to continue on with our adventure. Uh, now, I actually want to give a big thank you to Kenny, a uh, super nice guy who actually hooked me up with these. Uh, he's a purple bandito, you know, uh, he sent me a message and he, he asked me if I needed any help with anything. And I was like, you know, if you want to hook me up with a Waylord, that'd be fantastic. And he did, so I just want to give you a big thanks for that I think it was really really nice of you uh, and you're a really cool person for doing that for me so thank you very much now guys we're actually here in Fowlerbore town because we need to pick up a couple things before we get going and really start diving into things technically you know literally diving into things which you guys will be seeing very soon here's TM28 dig which we're going to need now we're actually going to be unlocking the caves for the Reggie's if you guys know what I'm talking about the legendary trio of the Reggie trio that's basically what we're going to be working on today it takes a little bit longer than usual to actually get to this cave and do these sorts of things so I'm gonna try my best to do it you know in a shorter amount of time and then hopefully in the next video we can go after the legendaries I don't know if each Reggie in Individually is gonna take me a lot of time. You know as I said sometimes I get very lucky with legendaries and I can catch them in one go Other times they take me you know an hour plus each and I'm hoping that's not the case I'm hoping that you know the Reggie's will be a little bit easier So if you guys have any tips on you know what's coming up with the uh, three Reggie's let me know Maybe you guys have some secret strategies that you know you could tell me about that I could use and that would be really really great now Let's go ahead and actually fly towards the route that's gonna take us to Pacific Log Town, which is actually the city we haven't explored. If you guys saw on the map, there's one city to the southwest of Moss Deep, which we really haven't even been to, which is kind of strange, right? It was kind of like a city that was just a little bit left out, and it, we just had nothing to do there until now. It's, it's kind of funny. They leave that last city. It's right there, actually, below us. We're just flying right above it, and they leave it there for you, and I guess you don't even really have to go there if you want to defeat the game. I guess you only go there if you want to catch light legendaries or you know something of that sort so with that guys let's go ahead and land then and keep it going I really do love flying in this game uh, or you know soaring I think it's really really great and it makes it so much more fun now that we're here route 128 I, I'm still connected to the Wi-Fi as you can see like I see people from around the world you guys ever thought like have you bumped into like one of your friends on there uh, you know how weird that would be? You just see, like, one of your friends that you actually know in, like, the passerbys. I think that would be really freaking cool. But I don't know why. I don't know how they do the passerby thing. But for some reason, I'm always seeing people from, like, Japan and stuff on the bottom. Don't really know how that works. But let's go ahead and keep going on our way. I know, guys. We don't have our Sharpedo here. So it's going to be a little bit slower than usual. It really, it really does feel a lot slower. It's like going from a super fast car to, like, a little slower, bigger, clunkier car. I, I should have maybe brought Sharpedo for this, uh, but we're actually getting close to Pacific Log Town, and from there, all the fun gets to begin, and I'm actually very excited to just jump into it and get it going. You know, sometimes when you get lucky with legendaries, you feel like you're on top of the world, and then there's the times when you have the hardest time ever catching the legendaries, and you get frustrated, and you get angry, and it's just like, this is terrible. Why am I even doing this? I know I can't be the only one who's been in that position before. But with that, guys, we have arrived here in Pacific Log Town, and we are one step closer to unlocking the Reggies. What? There's a Mega Stone up here. How do I get to it, though? Uh, don't really know. Not even sure what Mega Stone it is, but there you have it, guys. There's a Mega Stone. If you somehow figure out how to get back there, congratulations to you. I think you might be able to just surf around it, so I, I think that's what you can do. But anyways, I'm going to continue on to this route to the west. And now this one's a little bit tricky one. Cross your fingers that I figure out the puzzle without too much trouble. I'm actually not too sure if I'm going to be able to figure it out. But I guess we're going to find out and we're going to try our best. You know, I did it once in Emerald. And I hope, you know, from, from the experience I previously have, that I'll be able to knock it out here. But we're going to try. We're going to try. Let's see. I think I'm headed in the right direction. At least I hope so. Uh, if this takes me up. Yeah. Yeah. I think this is definitely the right way. We're doing something right, if I'm correct. Oh, I'll take a max revive. I'll take some max revive. Now, do I go up or is it here to the left? I, I do not remember that. Oh, man. I think I'm going to go. Huh. We'll go to the left. We'll go to the left because I'm really not sure what, what takes you up there. So we'll just keep going to the left. All I remember is you have to be like left centered in order for this to work. Is this the right way? I I'm really not sure now. Let me hang on. Let me go around these rocks 
Let me dodge all these trainers. I'm, I'm not trying to battle them. I'm trying to make it through here in a very orderly fashion. Man, there's a lot of trainers here, though. Maybe I'll come back and train on them later. I still have a lot of training to do before we rematch the Elite Four. But we also have, like, 100 bajillion legendaries to catch anyways. So I'm not too worried about it. Okay, is this the right way? This looks pretty good. Yeah, this is looking pretty good, guys. This is looking pretty good. Uh, and I think this is actually... Route 134, this is where the cave is, and I think it's just a direct surf to the left. Let's hope this is it. Let's hope I'm right. Cross your fingers. I'm not too sure. Is this it? Yes. Okay, cool. All right, guys, so this is exactly where we need to dive down. Uh, so very quickly, for those of you guys, if you've never done this before, you need to have a Relicanth up front in your party as your number one slot. You need to have the Whale Lord as your number six spot. You need to have a Pokemon that knows Dig. Uh, which is my camera up, and with that, we will be ready to make our way into this hidden puzzle and see, you know, what mysteries are in these caves. This just looks beautiful, though. The fact that you can, you know, dive underwater and explore this cave, just listening to this music, it really puts you in, like, a really cool, serene mood where you're just, like, into exploring. I don't know about you guys, but music in games is always a really big impact on me. It, it always changes the way I feel about a game, uh, and it's just really, really great. Now... Here is where the first, you know, braille starts coming in, and I'm pretty sure all this one says is like surface up or something, but I'm gonna go ahead and just double check because I haven't done this in a while. I'm gonna teach Dig to our Iro and then see if I have to use it here. I don't remember. It's been a long time since I've actually had the chance to do these puzzles, so just bear with me and we'll try to figure it out. I'm gonna get rid of Earthquake since we do have the Earthquake TM. Pretty easy swap. And remember, these aren't permanent movesets. I always update our Pokemon's movesets before we go any further. I'm pretty sure you don't use Dig here, uh, but I'm just gonna try it for second chances because you never know. Okay, so you don't use it here. Let's go ahead and surface up then. And I think this is the area we're actually trying to explore. Now, for in order for this to happen, like I said, Relicanth in your number one, Waylord in your number six, or you will not appear in this area. We have arrived in the sealed chamber, guys, and it is time for us to get going. There's a lot of Braille here. I wonder why they decided to go with uh, Braille. You know, I've always thought about that in the game. Uh, why they decided to go with Braille, not just some, you know, hieroglyphic language or something of that sort. It's kind of interesting, because I remember as a kid, when I played through these games originally, I would always, like, find, like, a Braille alphabet or something and just kind of, like, try to figure out the code as best as I could. And I think probably a lot of people had to do that uh, in the beginning. But it was harder back then. We didn't have as many resources as we, as we do now to figure out puzzles. So, you know, doing this challenge as a kid was definitely very tough. Now, we've arrived here, and this says something about, I don't even know, Awaken the Reggies. I, I really, I'm not even too sure. Something like that's going on here, guys. Uh, it sounds as if doors open somewhere far away. Uh, and with that, we are ready to continue on and get out of here. Maybe Dig will work again. As you guys saw, I actually used it in the door earlier to get in here. And that's the only time you have to use Dig. Now, there are a couple, like, HMs we're going to have to use for the next coming Reggies. But I'll tell you guys, you know, as we go. I'll let you guys know what we need to do there and uh, as we get things going. But with that, let's go ahead and run out of here. There's actually one more thing I want to do before we continue on. If you guys remember when we actually caught Heatran, our Pokedex didn't really have the data needed to show what kind of Pokemon it was and all the information above it. Uh, so that is why I'm actually going to make sure we upgrade our Pokedex today. So we actually get some updated information, especially now that we're going to be jumping into a bunch of legendary Pokemon that we've never really experienced before and that the Hoenn decks would actually have no idea about. It's exciting though. You know, it's kind of fun that here in Hoenn they don't have all these crazy Pokemon running around everywhere. Uh, but it's also fun that we're going to be one of the first people to, you know, get data on it uh, and that sort of thing. All right, finally, we are done here. Thank goodness. So we've awakened the Reggies. The three different caves are now open, now ready for us to go in there and catch them. And that is definitely what we will be doing next time. For now, let's go ahead and make our way back to Little Brew Town and see if we can talk to the professor, maybe upgrade our Pokedex uh, and get this going. You guys also told me that if I talk to the professor... He gives me, like, a Sinnoh Pokemon or something of that sort, uh, which is really, really cool. Uh, so I might have to figure that out, too. I don't know if he gives it to us right away or whatnot, but I'm sure we'll figure it out. Ah, oh, so nice to be back home here in Little Root Town. Let's head inside, then, and talk to the professor very quickly. Let's just get ourselves the National Dex. That's basically all he's going to do here is just hand us the National Dex. And it should be, you know, pretty nice to actually get all the information on these Pokemon. I, I love reading the little biographies. Used to do it as a kid all the time. Just read the Pokedexes and just, you know, learn a lot about Pokemon. I know. I couldn't be the only one who has done that. With that, guys, we have obtained the National Dex. We are good to go. And as I mentioned, next time we'll continue Legendary 
legendary hunting, probably going after the Reggies. So if you guys have any tips on what I should do, let me know. Make sure to give this video a like. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.